Health care. In the United States, people go to the doctor for two reasons. First, people go to the doctor for a checkup to stay well. The doctor looks for problems you might not see or feel. People can have high blood pressure or diabetes without knowing it. Early treatment may prevent a more serious illness. It may even save your life and can save you money. Most adults should go for a checkup every one to two years or as advised by their doctor. There are different kinds of health care centers. They include doctor's offices, walk-in clinics, urgent care centers, community health care centers, and hospitals. Second, people seek care when they are sick or injured. Knowing whether to go to the doctor or to the hospital is important. It may depend on several factors. Do you have a primary care doctor? How sick or injured are you? Do you have health insurance? If so, what doctors or hospitals are on the plan? If you have an emergency, then you may need to go to the emergency room or ER. This is usually for serious medical problems that should be addressed right away. Of course, if you need immediate medical help, you should call 911. This may include having chest pain, difficulty breathing, or severe cuts and bleeding. You will need to tell the 911 operator what the medical emergency is and your address. They will send an ambulance to take you to the hospital emergency room. Health insurance. Health insurance helps pay for medical care. There are many different insurance plans to choose from. They may be different in what they cover and how much they cost. Here are three important terms everyone should know when buying insurance. Number one, premium. This is how much the insurance costs. You pay this even if you never go to the doctor or hospital. Number two, copay. This is what you pay when you go to the doctor or other medical provider. For example, you may have to pay $20 each time you go to the doctor. Number three, deductible. This is what you pay before the insurance begins to pay. If you have a $1,000 deductible, you must pay the first $1,000 before the insurance starts to pay for most of your medical costs. Some employers offer health insurance plans. They may even pay part of the premium. Usually, the employee also pays part of the premium. This amount comes out of your paycheck. You will probably be asked to choose a primary care doctor from a list provided by your insurance company. You may want to ask your friends if they have a primary care doctor that they know and trust. You will also have a list of hospitals, pharmacies, and other medical providers that are on the plan. Sometimes, your insurance will only pay if you go to a doctor or medical providers on the plan list. If you are not sure where to go for care, call the phone number on your insurance card. If you are trying to find insurance, you can call private health insurance companies. You can also contact the health insurance marketplace by calling 1-800-318-2596 or go online to www.healthcare.gov. If you call, they have people who speak many different languages. You may qualify for government help to pay for your insurance. Remember, it is usually better to have health insurance than to pay for health care from your own savings. If you become very sick or need an operation, it may cost a lot of money without insurance. It is important to understand your insurance, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Remember, the least expensive plan may not be the best one to meet your needs. If you do not have insurance, there are still places you can get help, such as free clinics. If you do not know where to go, call 211. This is a telephone service to help you find free or low-cost medical services near you. Going to the doctor Going to the doctor can be a little scary, especially if you do not know what to expect. You will need to call to make an appointment to see your doctor. Be sure to tell them the reason for the visit so that they can determine if you need to see the doctor right away or if it is a well visit. Make sure to write down the date and time of the appointment. If you are unable to keep the appointment, call as soon as possible to cancel or reschedule it. When making your appointment, this is the time to ask for an interpreter if you need one. Asking for an interpreter who speaks your language will not cost you any money. The doctor's office is responsible for the interpreter. When you go to a doctor's office, you need to sign in. This means writing your name on a list at the front counter. 
This lets the doctor's office know who is in the waiting room. If you ask for an interpreter, be sure to remind the receptionist when you sign in. You may need to show your health insurance card and a photo ID. If this is your first visit, you will need to fill out health history forms. You will answer questions about your health, your parents' health, and any surgeries and medications that you take. If you do not understand something, ask for help or use the interpreter. After you fill out the forms, give them to the receptionist. Wait until the nurse calls your name. The nurse will take you to an exam room. The nurse will check your weight, blood pressure, and temperature. It's a good idea to bring all of your medicines in a bag and show them to the nurse. The nurse will ask you what health problems you want to discuss with the doctor. It is helpful to write down any questions you want to ask the doctor while you are still at home. You can show these questions to the nurse and again to the doctor. Do not be afraid to ask the doctor questions. Here are three good questions to ask your doctor. Number one, what is my main problem? Number two, what do I need to do? And number three, why is it important for me to do this? Remember, see your primary care doctor every one to two years to stay healthy and prevent disease. If you are sick, do not wait until your illness becomes worse. Go to your doctor, a clinic, or urgent care center. They are there to help you.